Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Naomi, I'm What Naomi Made on Instagram and I'm So Nao here on YouTube. And thank you for joining me. Um, before I go on, I just want to share my what I'm wearing today. Uh, this is a self-drafted top I made when I was doing my City and Girls diploma. Um, it is like an asymmetric closing here with pleats and it has a puff sleeve and little pleat on the edge there. There's quite a lot going on. It's a, a fabric gone by the chambray and it's so soft. Um, but yeah, lots going on, but I do love this one. It's got a lot of sentimental value too because it was my first self-drafted top. Uh, so uh, it is me, May, May around the corner and I have planned a few makes for May probably more bitten off more than I can chew but I wanted to share what I'm planning to make for May to go along with my pledge which is to wear me made every day um at least one item of me made every day but also to think about the gaps so I have a few things planned to plug some gaps and also just some things that I really want to sew so I'm hoping to share those with you so the first one up is uh, a little bit of a cheat because I actually started this one today so before May um, but it is uh, McCall's so it's from the new spring collection um, and I bought this a while ago actually because I got it online as a pdf um, and it's m8154 and it's uh, there's three jumpsuits uh, versions so I am going for the version C which has the kind of ties across the front so I'm making it in this rainbow fabrics uh, viscose linen viscose in lilac I'm a bit obsessed with lilac at the moment I've got a few lilacs lined up in my plans um but it's so nice to work with it's really lovely to work with it's got lovely drape i was gonna go for the full length leg and the cuff and see how it looks and if it didn't look right go for the sh cropped leg and i underestimated how much fabric i had so or i overestimated um so i've gone for the slightly cropped leg um, and then with this i have some for the cord I've actually got some lilac to go for the cord and some lilac buttons which match but I may go a bit contrasty because I also have this green so it would look across there and I've got some buttons to match the green so opinions on that what do you think lilac all the way through or a bit of contrasty green next up um this one again i've already started in that it's been cut out it's been cut out since the end of last summer when i realized that i wasn't going to get the wear out of it and put it away um but this is the lola top from fiber mood and i'm making it in this quite similar to the to the picture i'm making it in this lovely you see that a uh, broadery anglaise from ditto fabrics um i love broadery anglaise so yes i'm making that because i keep making things in lovely prints but i haven't got many <laughs> white tops or plain colors so a lovely white summery top in that one which is all cut out and ready to start now this one was one that i started at the end of the summer again um and thought not going to get much wear out of those because they're going to drag in the ground and so put them away for a little bit um and they are the tread thread count uh four ways trousers here so there's four different versions um that you can sew and i'm making the palazzo pants so the long wide leg pants and this was a fabric that my sister gave to me um it's a lovely viscose you can see so i'm not sure where it came from i know she was gifted to her and then she gave it to me but it's a it's a really nice it's like a like a maracane but really lightweight and it's got that lovely kind of uh, beige and white print um so lovely pair of trousers again because i'm short on trousers not the basic color that i should be doing but there we go um but yeah those are going to be lovely so those have actually actually started those but that's the next trousers to go 
And the next one, uh, so when I was uh, buying some fabric recently here on Higgs and Higgs, I came across this lovely lilac seersucker. I don't know if you can pick up the lilac there. Um, and again, with my current obsession with lilac, I got two meters of this. Not quite sure what I was going to make with it, but I think this is going to be Fibre Mood Paulette or some other blouse, but the Fibre Mood Paulette is kind of the first uh, plan. Um, but I think that's what that will be. I'm not sure if I'll get to this one in May, but hopefully um, at least get it cut out. Right. I'm starting to feel like I might be overfacing myself, but these are the plans for May that might continue into June. Uh, the next fabric was one that I got in uh, Ditto Fabrics. Uh, it was in their sale and I just fell in love with it. It is a viscose with a big, see, big blue floral print on it. I just love those colors anyway, but the fact that it's got the big, big flowers it's a little bit heavier weight and you can see there's like a texture to the weave there. It's like a textured weave. It's really beautiful. And I think the only thing for this dress is a big statement dress with statement sleeves to swish around in. Uh, so I have got two options for this dress so far, but I would really like your opinions uh, if you can think of something else. Uh, I'm thinking either um, the Zero Waste Gather dress, so this one, um, to make a nice big dress and not to break up the flower too much, uh, or the Valley dress from Pattern Fantastique. Um, not sure whether... It's going to do the sleeve justice because it's quite a nice big sleeve and might need a bit more structure. Um, but those are the two I've got so far. Any other ideas, please pop them below. I'd love to get your ideas for this. I've got three and a half metres, so I'd really like to make the best use of it. It's a, uh, yeah, really beautiful fabric and I want to have something nice to swish around. Okay, okay. my last fabric is from Pound a Meter and it is this uh, lilac the lilac obsession continues the lilac uh, needle cord um really reasonable i think i paid like three pounds a meter or something like that and i ended up getting three meters um but it is really gorgeous color but what it didn't say because they have limited information on their fabrics is that it actually has um a bit of stretch so not sure what to make with these i want trousers um, initially I thought either the Fibre Mood Bay trousers or which are culottes as you can see or the Fibre Mood uh, Babette trousers which are kind of like a wide leg jeans. Uh, I'm not sure I've also got a pattern I've also got uh, Megan Nielsen's Dawn jeans but then they're, they're supposed to be rigid denim or rigid fabric and this has got some stretch has anybody made the dawn jeans with some stretch i mean i might need the bit of stretch but yeah i'd like to know any ideas for some stretch slightly stretchy cord um i might be better off going with culottes that don't actually stretch over my derriere um but yeah so that's the final fabric I have got some other plans for summer dresses, but I'm not going to completely overface myself. Um, so they're going to stay where they are for now. So thank you for joining today and listening to my plans for May and beyond. Um, I'd love to get your opinions on uh, any ideas for the dress, uh, some any ideas you've got for the stretch cord. So kind of trousers, wide leg trousers, patterns that you can think of. Do I go blue, a green or lilac for the cord? Pop your opinions below, any comments. Um, and please like my video. I'm, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my video. I'm going to be adding more and more. Um, also, any ideas for things I can do that would be useful, just pop in the comments below. Um, but thanks for joining and have a wonderful Me Made May, everybody.